the Shores and Lake Superior. But this week, they come inside to the Fort William Gardens. A year ago in Calgary, Manitoba and Connie Laliberti. Laliberti winning her third Canadian championship at the Scott Tournament of Hearts. Now she's back to defend that title as Team Canada here in Thunder Bay. Three Canadian championships for Connie Laliberti, but just one world title. She lost last year to Sweden, hoping to regain that Canadian championship to knock again on the world's door. And she opened with a win against Quebec. In Sunday morning's third round, Prince Edward Island against Quebec, 10th end, final stone, Susan McInnes, the Charlottetown skip in a 4-4 tie with Stephanie Marchand from Trois-Rivières, and a lovely shot by this veteran skip out of PEI to make the double kill to score two, smiles all around as PEI wins their second 6-4. Elsewhere in that early morning round, Alberta bounces back, Cheryl Coleman, with four and eight, wins eight to two over BC. And so here are the standings as we head into the fourth round here in Thunder Bay. Ontario and PEI at two and zero, followed by Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Team Canada. British Columbia's at one and one. What a big win it was though for Alberta because Cheryl Coleman now from the Calgary Winter Club is at one and two. On through Quebec and New Brunswick, still winless, still early, here at this 96 Scott Tournament of Hearts in Thunder Bay. Our featured game in round four, two Canadian champions, the defending champion, Lala Birdie, against the former champion Jones, Team Canada, against Nova Scotia. The 1996 Scott Tournament of Hearts is brought to you by the Scott family of products. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Thunder Bay and TSN's continuing coverage of this 1996 Scott Tournament of Hearts. The Finlandia Club on Bay Street in Thunder Bay. Did you know that Thunder Bay has the largest Finnish community outside of Scandinavia? Some 12 to 15,000 former Finns now call Thunder Bay home. They were drawn here by similar environments, the logging industry, and of course, those former Finns have helped to make Thunder Bay the Nordic ski capital of Canada. And a tradition for these Finns and Canadians alike is every Sunday to come to the Hoito restaurant for Sunday brunch. Coming up in our fourth round coverage, two Canadian champions. The reigning Canadian champion, Team Canada, Connie Laliberti, a winner Saturday night in her opening game against Quebec, against former Canadian champion Colleen Jones of Nova Scotia, her 11th time here, but she lost her opener to BC. So you know these two will not be intimidated by each other. For their thoughts now, let's go to Linda and Ray while I go into the Hoito for some lunch. Thank you. We do have two of the event favorites matching up in this game this afternoon, Ray. A very big game for Colleen Jones. For sure that's clear, Linda. You know how Vic goes for lunch? We <laughs> sit here in the studio. There's no question for Colleen Jones it's a big game. She's got to get up. You know, she got off to a bad start yesterday. We're losing that first game. And now she's got Connie and she's got uh, Maureen Bonner coming up and she's got Marilyn Bodo coming up. Mm -hmm. So her schedule's a tough one. Now she's been here 11 times. We know that she's very, very, has all the ability and all the shots, but she's had some bad luck. Now she had bad luck yesterday in her game. Can you put that aside and, and kind of get yourself focused again? She's going to have to do that if she's going to win. And this is, as you mentioned, a very big game for her. And what a tough opponent. Connie Laliberti and her team Canada squad they played so well in their first game some people call it boring well I guess boring is nice when you curl 90% as the skip Connie Laliberti did including a hundred percent in her out turns yesterday I mean what a great team they have a little defensive minded some criticize that I think they're going to start the game that way again today I don't think it's a bad thing with Colleen a little shaky after the first game I know Connie Laliberti wants to give Colleen Jones another loss early in this event Vic? Linda Ray, traditional Sunday brunch would be pancakes smothered in a strawberry sauce. My thanks to Ula Ahokos, Aro Puro, they're members of the board of directors here at the Hoito. Thanks would be Kitos. When we come back, we'll have the first stones for you. Round four, the Scott Tournament of Hearts. It's Team Canada against Nova Scotia.
Welcome back to Thunder Bay, the Fort William Gardens. TSN's continuing coverage of this 1996 Scott Tournament of Hearts as we're ready now for draw number four in our featured game, of course, Team Canada against Nova Scotia. The ice yesterday looked good. It was tricky at times. Let's find out what Ray is able to read in the ice and is brought to you by Unitel. It's a great sliding surface. It's running about 23 and a half from this hog line to this T line. Now, just clear that. To get around the center guards, a little straight. About two feet of curl going this way and also with the other turn. To get around the corner guards, a little better. About three and a half feet of movement. So you can bury behind these corner guards on both sides. The secret is when you go outside and step the weight up, it's running very straight. You'll see that both the sides of the ice, they're holding the behold the room right in the center of the stone. This area last night uh, broke down a little bit and it was flattened out and got a little fudgy. So we'll watch it closely. But a good sliding surface, the rocks, they will not carry. When they decide to stop, they stop. Four sheets in play on sheet A in the extreme left. Yukon Northwest Territories is against Saskatchewan. Sheet B will be Nova Scotia, Canada. On sheet C, Newfoundland and Manitoba. And British Columbia against Quebec on the extreme right, sheet four. As we meet the two teams, respective leads, Janet Arnott and Nancy Delahunt will play at lead. It'll be Kathy Gauthier, Kim Kelly, the opposing seconds. Kathy Clapham against Kay Zink at third and the two skips. They know the game so well. Team Canada's Connie Laliberti against Nova Scotia's Colleen Jones. Red Rocks will have last rock, and so to get us going, it is Manitoba. And the Winnipeg Canadian champions of Connie Laliberti, and their lead is Janet Arnott. So Sister will put down the brush for Sister. But just before we get started, Vic, that you should clear up uh, this. I'm sure our viewers are wondering, you did eat those pancakes and all that <laughs> whipped cream, did you not? I had a taste. <laughs> yeah. Very nice, and I thank again the people at the Hoito. Well, Ray, we hey, talked so close. much about gaining confidence hey, and gathering momentum at this stage of the event, and that's why I think this game is so key. You have Connie Laliberti, who you mentioned needs to get yeah. going because she hasn't had the provincial playdowns prior to this event. She had the bye as Team Canada, so she'd like to get things rolling with a couple of early wins. And then you have Colleen Jones, who, as you mentioned, had a few bad breaks yesterday, but has a very tough early schedule and would love to get it on track today. Well, she's got so much experience as, as we've, uh, you know, we've over mentioned the fact that she's here for the Please. 11th time and and uh, she, you know, she really uh, knows the game very, very well. She seems to undo herself a little bit and she she certainly had some bad breaks uh, yesterday. She had two stones that I can think of now without trying that caught something and, and took a different direction. So you know, those are bad breaks. Now she. You know, you look who's ahead of her, as I mentioned in my opening comments. Boy, she's really got to get, uh, you know, she loses this one, then she happens to lose one of the next two or something. She's really got her back against the wall. And, uh, I, you know, Colleen's uh, ability is better than what her record has been at these events. Janet Arnott throwing another draw into the rings. And for Connie, as I mentioned, it's not just getting the W on your side. When you're playing teams like this that you know have the experience and will probably gather momentum later in the week, it's nice to get them down a little bit by handing them the loss. So it is a huge game. Really looking forward to this one. And in particular, that game for Colleen Jones against BC was one that she thought looking at the schedule and realizing how difficult it was to start that was one she thought she could have had and really she could have should have had considering well, the, yeah. the stones had caught something she had three catch something yeah well no, you, when you look at you know the inexperience of this event of Jody Bush who curled really well in that game by the way against Colin and you got you anticipate calling getting off to a better you know a good start boy she she got some bad breaks but the BC team played very well watch it Kim good shot the shooter from the Nova Scotia lead hangs around T line heads the 12 foot as we move to the seconds now and Kathy Gauthier for Team Canada this Canadian team out of the Fort Rouge Curling Club in Winnipeg the Nova Scotian champions yep. from the Halifax Curling Club right up right, right up guys right up right up lose me Jen good there's a benefit of having sweepers on both sides of the rock 
Kathy Clapham got a little tied up on the board side, so Janet took it through. Nice hit. Lane. Kim yep. Kelly, along with Kay Zink and Colleen Jones, have been together, it seems, oh, forever. Uh, Good. Colleen and Kay, of course, won the championship together when in 82. In fact, there were the three Jones sisters on that team, Linda. Barbara and Monica joined them, that's right. And you'll see all these players are so sound with their deliveries and great sweeping. So that's why we talk about breaks, because it's Wait. so key. When Wait. you've got great teams that are going to execute well, yep. Yep. those are the kinds of things you look for. Who gets the good breaks in the game? Once again today, as well as throughout the entire Scott Tournament of Hearts, we'll welcome your questions and comments on the internet. You can reach us, tsncontrol at tsn.ca. But again, questions, comments are appreciated. We can't answer all or reply to all your comments, but we'll do our best. There's exactly what you were saying, Ray, going right down that line that marks the edge of the forefoot and running very straight with that outturn. When you step the weight a little bit, they really do. Uh, it's very, you know, weight sensitive, the ice. And, and the minute you step the uh, weight up, especially on the outside in shots, they just run so straight and everywhere. If you're going to the wings, you'll get a little movement. We saw an intern hit down there a moment ago that moved about a foot. Top four. Make sure we're eight. First of the third stones now in this first end, fourth round. Top four. Good, nice throw, good weight. Now as a skip, and you've just seen your third throw that kind of weight, T line, four foot, and you walk away and you're thinking what? Yep, great. Hard. <laughs> Is it that? I mean, are you that pleased that hard. she's able to have Real that? Hard. I mean, you had practice before, Hooray. remember? And but this hurry, team hurry, is hurry. just so solid. And as a skip, it's really a confidence booster to see that they come out firing right from the first shot. Kay. They're ready to play any kind of shot. T-line weight right on the button first in. That's great. Yeah. Third draw went this morning. Alberta wins. Cheryl Kuhlman comes back after losing her first two. And PEI. Susan McKinnis from Charlottetown is now two and zero after beating Quebec. Four foot, hurry. Hurry. Hurry, Kathy. Hurry, 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 hurry. Push hard. hard. Kathy Goche is closest to the zone. Janet Arnott. Brushing. Good, Kath. Good brushing. So I can throw that all the time. I can throw that. Wait. Okay, yeah. Let's sweep me. Weight's good. Hey, Zink. Yep. You mentioned in your opening comments, Linda, Whoa. that uh, over the, the last 15 years, uh, Connie's uh, trait has Good. been yep. to lean to the defensive side of the game. And you're right, she has been criticized for that. I think it's more so that she doesn't seem to want to put people away. In other words, she, she plays the game so that uh, she keeps everybody in the game. We could go back over the last four or five years, and we've watched her closely. And, uh, she does <clears throat> the best example I can remember was last year in the final of the world championship in the fifth end uh, sure she had a chance to win it in 10 and she had a chance to win it in 11 and the extra end uh, with a difficult shot but in the fifth end she had a golden opportunity to possibly score a three and she played a semi defensive shot as opposed to really going uh, going for it now she you know there, a lot of things happen after that but that is the kind of thing that uh, I think that she she I don't yep, think she yep. utilizes her talents yep. because she can draw hurry. she can hit and she, hurry, she knows hurry. the game Hard, uh, hurry. Hurry, so guys, it, hurry. It, it's it's she doesn't really really use herself properly that's that's my girl, tiny person nice. and, uh, I guy. love Connie she's a Hard wonderful one. person yeah. and those kind of things but I think that she could could have a couple more uh, titles to her credit had she been a little bit more aggressive I guess is the proper word 
And I think especially now, because before, Connie could play that defensive style right through 10 ends. And yes, it's probably still not wise to do it all the time, because if you've only got a one-point lead, anything can happen. But even more so with the free guard zone rule in effect now, where you exactly. know your opponent can get the one guard up. So a one-point edge is no longer Last secure. Ice, and uh, well. that's why at some point in the game, you do need to make that one move when you have the great chance to score. You got to do it and try and get that edge heading into 10. Interesting contrast here. Colleen playing the outside in straight turn where earlier in this end, uh, Connie Laliberti played the Lee. inside out yep, yep. in turn in the whoa, spot whoa. the turn yep. that curls. Yep. Yep. Hurry. Have to be careful of the jam hurry, at the hurry. back. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Good eye, Eagle. Eye of the Eagle. That was too bad because that was just a sweeping call. Connie going to the intern. And again, it's those little things we talk about. We talked about breaks, but little things like sweeping communication line calls are also so critical when you're playing at this level. Colleen, of course, may be facing two with Last Rock, whereas a moment ago it looked like she might have an easy chance to blank this end. Final stone for Team Canada. Yep, yep. Nova Scotia with hurry. the hammer here in this ah, first day. Hurry. hurry, guys, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry, hard, hurry. Hurry, hard, 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 hard. hurry. Lots hurry. of movement hurry. there. Want to avoid kissing that stone and oh now oh. it's just handed right back. And it's shot stone, the red one at the back That's is shot. Nice. And so now it's a draw for two. What a reversal. Well, what a a little bit more right. or more, yeah. You'll hear us talk about it through the whole game, and if you were with us yesterday, we did talk about it in detail. The, the stones are not very lively. When they make contact, uh, they, they don't uh, slide freely. Uh, the the uh, running surface uh, is, is very fast underfoot, but the stones are uh, a little bit, on these, on three of the sheets at least, are, are a little bit, uh, oh, I guess, uh, dead is what we call them. There's a lot of words I could search for, but. Uh, to, you know, to get a hit and roll, uh, it, it's very hard to judge things. And there's a good example of, you know, uh, once they jam, the jam was there, it just stopped dead. So this is a good break. This, this is, we talked about bad breaks for Colleen yesterday. This was a good break, a miss by Connie. And now she gets a chance to score two Free points. Hard. She's got to make this draw. Hurry hard! It would be a confidence builder. Full 12. Hurry hard! Full Free 12 up. is what they need. Now everybody's jumped out. Nancy Delahunt, Free Kim up. Kelly, Casey. Colleen Jones there, Good. got to drag it, full 12. And they'll take it into the eight, even into the four, and piece of the button. So good job by the sweepers is Colleen Jones and Nova Scotia. Have it handed right back to them, and they make no mistake this time. We're in Thunder Bay. Let's begin our updates for you now. British Columbia against Quebec, first and final stone for the BC skip. Jody Bush from Fort St. John would like to roll it out, but won't. Sits right there to take one Quebec, and Stephanie Monachon from Trois Rivières will have last rock in the second. Newfoundland against Manitoba. Newfoundland, Laura Phillips, one and one. Manitoba, Marine Bonner from Brandon, one and zero. Newfoundland with last rock. And look at this explosion of red stones. The hit and the score of four for the Newfoundland skip from St. John's. The early big lead on the Manitoba champion from Brandon. Yukon Northwest Territory, Saskatchewan. They blanked the first. And so Donna Scott from Whitehorse with Last Rock in the second against Sherry Sherrick from the Granite in Saskatoon. Now this is Connie Laliberti's last stone and it's ironic she handed the chance right back to Colleen Jones. But you're right, it looked to me like a little less weight than Connie wanted, but it definitely curled. Ray had mentioned more movement from the inside to the outside, and it moved enough to jam and leave the redstone shot rock. So Team Canada has last rock, the hammer, here in this we didn't second see, end. Excuse me, Vic. We didn't see how that four-ender uh, developed on Marine Bonner. That's a real surprise. Manitoba looked very strong yesterday in their opening game. But uh, Laura Phelps has a way, boy, of hanging in there. 
That last end too was an unbelievable example of what a jam can do for you. You're hitting to lie two, you jam, they draw for two. Yeah. Long center line guard belongs to Nova Scotia, and the come around attempt by Janet was good as far as line goes, Just but a bit deep in the house. It does give Nova Scotia a chance to come in and sit in front of the T line, shot rock. Nancy Delahunt. Looks like lots of wait. Of Montreal. Looks like lots of wait. She's lots the newest of line. member of this team. Okay. In fact, has Back no line. previous championship experience at any level. Connie and Kaga give her a few years, a couple yeah. of those hearts. It's a little bit too much weight. Hey, Colleen could give three away and not even notice they're gone. 11 trips. Janet, like her sister Connie, is in her seventh appearance at a national championship. Talking to Janet before the game, and she found yesterday that the ice changed during the game, and that made it a little more difficult for the leads to find the, the right feel for those front rocks as well as the draws. So they're hoping today that the ice makers have solved the few problems they might have had yesterday, and things settle down today. Control. Well, they wanted that uh, top of the eighth foot behind the guard. It's just, just a little too much weight. Uh, Janet threw it a little hard. It got there without any brushing at all. So. Kim Kelly. Yep. Real hard. Go hard. Hurry. Quack. Real hard. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry. Hurry, 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 hurry. Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Good brushing to get it by the center guard, and then a little unfortunate to jam at the back. You can see, though, what uh, we mentioned in the reading the ice section that the, the rocks don't carry. You can see when they make contact how kind of dead they are. They don't slide Bumper freely. Count. That's the stone themselves. It's funny, Linda, they don't even sound. Uh, well, we've become accustomed to it sometimes. I mean, there's no crack. It's just sort of a dull, dull thud. I mean, you can you actually hear it. Kathy Gauthier. It used to be we had trouble with stones because the hitting surfaces would hit boards that were freshly painted wood and the stones would do that. There's no wood here, so that's not the cause. It's merely the surface of the stone. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good take away. Nice shot. Got a bit of a roll. today that the draw weight might be a little bit faster by that we mean 13 and a half seconds but guards are 15 to 16 yeah. seconds half weight 10 and a half takeout yeah. it was we just saw nine and a half Three seconds hard. between the hog lines and Whoa. peel seven and a half the big weight to get rid of the guards Whoa. it straightens out the off, off, off. hey Kim shooter hang around no so the house is wide open we talked yesterday, first day of a competition. The curlers actually are on the ice for the first time on Thursday. Seven ice being quarter. green. Uh, as it gets somewhere, would you expect more swing, more curl to develop, and would you expect the ice to become a little quicker, or would it get a little heavy? Well, I think it could probably get a little bit quicker, but I don't. I think what you see is what you're going to get. I think it's the, sto the stones, and it's a combination of the stones and the ice surface. And I think it's uh, in this case, it's the stones. You're going to see when we finally do get to televise on sheet D. The stones are a second and a half faster on that uh, particular sheet, so it, it's it's the yeah, running yeah, surface yeah, of the yeah, stones yeah. in particular. Okay. So I think we're not going to get much variation of what we have now, Vic. 
Just so that we don't confuse everybody, you're going to hear different systems of uh, draw weights using the stopwatch. And yesterday we were wondering what Connie Laliberti's team was using because they were using quite big numbers. They actually used touchdown where the stone first meets the ice to the T line at the far no, end no, no, to no, measure no. draw weight. No. So their numbers are going to be different than Kazin's oh. and the Nova Scotia no, side. No, no, lots of room. Watch your roll, Kim. Okay. You couldn't see a lot of it, and she certainly had to throw it uh, quietly. But you can see when it made contact, you just, you know, you can't get away with that back line weight anymore. You, even the light hack weight won't remove stones. You've got you to be a little bit uh, more definite or more positive about your weight. Well, this is a good call. She, Connie is. Seven and a half, eight. She, could, she has the choice of going and freezing to the, the first stone day. on the other side or going in. And she's going to go in behind. First stone half for the Team 12, Canada half third. Dead. Half to 12, wide open. Let half to 12, half to 12. Excellent draw weight. It's going to be in the house. The problem is it's right. going to be wide open. That's why they stopped sweeping. They were hoping it stopped a little shorter so no hit and roll was there. Regular. She threw it well, good weight. Just try didn't and, come up. Try and hear what Kathy says. I don't know if she got it outside or she just. No. Case throwing a little more weight here, Linda. Whoa. Whoa! Might be able to get both of them if the angle's right. Jam at the back means that Team Canada still shot stone, edge of the eight. Yes. The game is psychologically is really interesting. You know, you just get a good break uh, when Connie jams the first end. You get your two points and you just don't want to give two back. You know, it's a, uh, as, a, as a participant, as a player, I can remember so often those kind of things happening. You say, oh, how could we do that? You know, talk to Larry Pino, uh, of course, a native of Thunder Bay. And in his uh, Quest Back to get to the Briar this year. Larry had a great uh, year with his team, but uh, he lost the final of uh, Northern Ontario and right got here. three the first right hand. And he said, right "Ray, back. it's just we couldn't we couldn't uh, piece it together after that, and Hurry, Dad. we were outplayed." And okay, that's good. That's good. All right. Sometimes it was good start, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Russ Howard would have liked a little better start it's than control. the one he had okay. in his final game, Vic. see most of this stone and uh, it's hard to tell what kind of weight Colleen is going to play on it. She definitely can see a good Just piece control. of it. What was that? Uh, there it is. You got about, uh, oh, you got a, almost a full stone, quarter, three quarters of the stone, I guess. I think she said she was playing control take a weight, so pretty good weight to remove this one. No, Whoa! no, right off, right off. Nothing. She put it out. And she threw it big. You can't get them out there, not on that spot. Okay, Colleen. And by and through. It was a lot of weight too. Sorry. Lots of choices. She talked for a moment about coming down and just sitting on, on this one here. 
in front of that one, but uh, you then leave uh, Colleen the chance to come down and maybe hit the shot stone and get the little roll and take those away from you. Looking at having this so a little exposed. She's coming around here. Like so. Just because if I bury it, she could come up to that one corner, freeze it. And you heard her explanation of Half the 12 is good. Half the 12 foot. Slightly exposed. First stone for Connie Laliberti and Team Canada here in the second. They trail 2 nothing, and Team Canada does have last rock. Lots of room, guys. Lots of room. Lots of room. Half of 12. Here's good. There's a spot right there, Linda, that really Where holds. Colleen got caught on it. With less weight, it starts to move at the end. We'll see how much late movement this one gets. To the top of the eight. Team Canada. Line three. Nice shot, Connie. Very nice. That's a very nice shot. I should have left it a little bit. Maybe. Well, you can't see a lot of those two rocks that are near center line, so they're going after the back one. The one Linda was talking about, this one here, and this is covering that one, of course. So what Colleen is going to do Just is sit and hit, flop a bit hit for the number back two. one and try and roll over into this area. <laughs> No. No. There. But if we can sit and flop. Looks like if she rolls, she I, could get I, second could shot. Would, that would be the perfect shot. We can she flop can. over there for number two. There you go. Try and cut it down that way. Clean. Yes, her! Right out of her hand. Nancy Delahunt. Kim Kelly is closest whoa, to the stone. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Just, They'll sit right there. To stop coming. So it's a hit for three for Team Canada. Kim suggesting they may have straightened it up by the brushing? Well, they definitely did hold it up because they swept it most of the way. And at the end, it looked like maybe they would get some movement and didn't. So after giving up two in the first, Whoa. Team Canada and Laliberti have a chance now to regain the lead with three here in the second. We'll sit right there. Three for Team Canada. Is that you said I could beat Ray Turnbull if I hang around here? <laughs> Watch me drool for him. Ah, Linda, I like. UConn Northwest Territories against Saskatchewan as we continue our updates here in the fourth round. Final stone for the team from Whitehorse and Donna Scott, 0 and 1. Drawing against two counters on the edge of the 12 and she'll put a T line four foot for a single and UConn Northwest Territories ahead of Sherry Sherrick from the Granite in Saskatoon. Newfoundland and Manitoba, look at the stones in play here. Manitoba playing yellow stones. Is T line biting the button? Buying one. This is the final stone for the Manitoba champion, Maureen Bonner from Brandon. Allison Bell. The brushes. Lois Fowler. Look at the rub on that center line guard, and then she goes through the hole, and she only gets one as she was drawing for two. 4 1. Laura Phillips from Newfoundland leading as they play the third. Welcome back to the Fort William Gardens and TSN's coverage of this 96 Scott Tournament of Hearts. Okay. Team Canada rebounds with three. Now leading three to two over Nova Scotia. Colleen Jones with the hammer here in the third. You made the point, Linda, just uh, you know, an end ago that uh, uh, you know the teams are struggling a little bit with the consistency and draw weight, and it's, it really is true. Jan Janet Arnott is uh, you know as good a leader we've seen for. Yep. 
watch her for so many years, and she really hurry. hasn't been as consistent with uh, the Real placement hard. of those first couple of stones as she hurry. has. I know that uh, Connie did not want hurry, that stone hurry, that hurry. high. So the draw hurry, weight is hurry, alerted hurry, hurry. Uh, both these teams to a small degree. Here's a good looking shot. Okay. Well, definitely okay, being that far forward. in front is the to come around, and what a nice one in front of the T line. One of the people that really has caught on to the draw weight early is Marilyn Bodo, the Ontario skip. And those are the kinds of things you love to do as a skip, get the feel early. She's curling it 84% uh, and 96% on her out turn draws. So she's really caught on early to this ice. Lots of Lots of She overthrew this one. Little rub, it'll bounce off, sit back four. Well, that's the kind that can be a little bit in front, doesn't have to be shot rock, but going deep gives Colleen that good chance, as you see it, for the hit and roll. Nancy Delahunt, we said, uh, is a native of Montreal. An avid golfer, she was telling me. Her handicap is 26, but she has had a hole in one. Oh, well. 164 yard. Close. A three iron at the Avon Valley course in Windsor. You'd be hitting a full three wood in that 164. <laughs> <laughs> I'd bring out that big, that whale driver of mine and I'd just hammer it. Yeah, so Nancy can brag about a hole in one. Opportunities. Roll out uh, doesn't help yep. Connie's yep. situation. Gives uh, Kathy Goche a chance to play. Right up. Hurry, guys, hurry, hurry. Your side, Jan. Your side, over. Peel. Good, good yeah. pass. Connie didn't fool around there. She could have tried the run back, but sometimes if you just miss hit those are the worst things that can happen. So she just cleaned house. Couldn't do it earlier because of the free guard zone rule, but could there, and nice shot. Sorry. The Camp Hill Medical Center in Halifax is where Kim is a pharmacist. Lines go right up. Right back, you guys. Behind the team. Behind the team. Hurry, 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 hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Good. Whoa. Great Good. shot, Kimmy. Kathy and the Lee Janet Arnott are avid Scrabble players. And they said if you're a Scrabble player, you'll want to know that Wayne. a word that Wayne. drives people crazy and how you can get rid of a Y is yo. The greeting, hey, yo. Apparently it's Good. in it's in the dictionary and it drives Scrabble players crazy because they don't think it exists, but they say, and in fact the team greeting now is yo. Go live to Newfoundland, Manitoba. Final stone, Laura Phillips leading four to one as they play the third. They hit for two. And Newfoundland and Laura Phillips. One and one coming in against Manitoba, Maureen Bonner at one and zero. Now up six to one. Terrific roll right in behind the corner guard. Nice shot by Kim Kelly. Connie's giving enough ice All right, there. Good throw, Kat. Yeah, I agree. Down. This is a terrific opportunity for Colin to get a deuce back and maybe set up a possible three. What Jams are very easily, uh, ha they happen very easily on ice surfaces like this. And so a chance for Colleen to play the freeze down in front of those two stones sitting on the edge of the rings. With K Zinks. First shot. Got room. Physio Atlantic. You got room. 
Take you can see the ace she's taking. Weight, so she's guys. looking for, for four and a half Lots feet of, of curl. And then I think she'll get it. I, I agree. I don't think uh, on her own shot in the no first line. end or on that shot there, I don't think she's been giving quite enough, Connie's been giving quite enough ice. Okay, down to this one. Down right to the back, back in there, hurry, guys. Hurry. Come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Whoa. Okay. Very nice. Shot. And no, on, on a nice surface, it's very quick. Guys. That isn't a hard stone to get out, out of the rings. But on this surface, it is a difficult stone to get out of the rings. And the other one is buried behind the corner guard. It's taking a little more ice this time. Shutting up. Well, jams are so easy because you can just see you, you you make contact like that. And Kathy over over to Clavin threw big weight there. And think about it. I mean, go back to the first first end. All the jams for the points have been on that particular corner that? of the sheet. Number two. Corner of the house. And number two. Number two. How about I draw and just bump it? So what they're the saying is uh, the left-hand stone, that? the red one yeah. belonging to Nova Scotia's shot, that yellow one is second shot. There's the accu gauge. How many inches do I need on it? But she just needs to tap it a couple of no, inches for the red stones yeah. to be sitting like three. I up to it and pop it just a bit. Just a little tighter ice, eh? Well, it's interesting because she could just play the hit here and, and, and hit the stick is not easy. She's going to just play the tap it back. I, I think that... Uh, it's probably girl. easier made if you just take uh, the foot of ice and play the hit on it, uh, like so. But she's going to play just to tap it back. So she's playing very quietly. Now, could the thought be in her mind that if we uh, just tap it back again, it leaves the possibility of a jam? Yeah, there. there's no question that's why she's playing that, Vic. Uh, it's just that sometimes you can make the game a little overcomplicated, I, th I think, anyway. I mean, this whoa, is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no not suggesting Kay can't make no. the shot, because she can, but... If you ever happen to miss it, no, then you let your no opposition clean. off the hook. And you tend to overthrow these because Jeez. you know you have to tap it. Yeah, I, I think I would have just played the one shot there. And overthrow it, she does. Yeah, I, I think... Colleen's first call was was the better call, was to just to play the straight hit. Why would you uh, why would you tend to overthrow them? You know you have to. Move